Felipe Lins. Ready, ready, fight. And Tanner Bozer, close fight according to Vegas. Lins, a minus 115 favorite. Bozer, minus 105 on the comeback. Bozer is in red, Lins is in black. You know, stylistically, this has all the makings to be a tremendous fight because both guys, they're pretty similar in style. Of course, Linz has the blood belt in jiu-jitsu, but on the feet, they both like to plan the feet. They like to be in the pocket and trade heavy blows. And straight away, 30 seconds in, going to work. I think Bowser's best punch is his overhand right. He times it because he dips his head down every now and then and then just comes over the top, gets you thinking that he's gonna shoot and then fires that overhand real well. But he's also just mobile in general, so it'll be interesting to see how Linz boxes him in. And Bozer physically, as he comes up on the one-year anniversary of his UFC debut, just looks like he is in much better shape from a strength and conditioning standpoint. Yeah, well, he was saying he gets better every single fight. He said, somehow, some way, I will always improve. And generally, I mean, as a fighter, that's what you've got to be doing. You've always got to be evolving, always getting better. But the more time you spend in training camp, it's only natural. You are going to get better. And it looks to me like he looked at the success of Andre Arlovsky and saw him utilizing a lot of movement because Bose is kind of utilizing a similar game plan here. And then you got Linz, who's coming from American Top Team. They probably have a lot of guys that he can train with, many bodies. And then you think about Bozer, who says, you know, I haven't had, I've only had two weeks in the gym. I've been finding other ways to train, doing strength and conditioning, stuff in the park. But realistically, each each camp and each of the, all of these fights has a different way of training during this pandemic. And it depends on if you're part of a big team or on your own. Nice body shot from Linz, but you're right, Bozer. You lean on the cardio, you focus on fitness. Yep. And even though he doesn't have his usual corner with him here in in Vegas, pretty good start for the Canadian Tanner Bozer. Yeah, he's doing a good job of using that inside shin kick, leg kick part of me. There's that overhand right that he likes to throw, and that's one of his most dangerous punches. It didn't connect there, but he's looking for it. So far, Linz hasn't checked a single leg kick. Bozer, not a guy who will necessarily wow you with volume, but he's accurate. Moves very well on the feet for a heavyweight. Linz looks like he hits so hard, though. I mean, the way he's yeah. throwing those punches is serious. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at him. I mean, he's built. He's a thick guy. And on the flip side, honestly, Ooh. I think Bolger looks like he could make light heavyweight. He does look light, Mike. I agree. But they're around the same way. I think he just likes to use his light weight as a speed tactic. And look, there's that overhead right. Combination. Was vicious and he's out cold, unconscious. I mean, my word. That overhand right that he throws, he, it's so sneaky. He gets you thinking about everything else, and then that comes out of nowhere. That started the combination, but the way that he finished it with the combinations after, the, the way that he had accuracy in every punch, I mean, he's still down. And the speed. Very fast. And look at this. There's the overhand right. It lands in the back of the head. Doesn't quite do it, but look at this accuracy. Two, three, four, five, six. All uh, six punches. Seven, oh. eight. Eight punches after that overhand right. Here it goes, right here. Boom. Three, four, five. I mean, goodness. And then a back oh, punch. Oh. That must have been so hard going backwards. Yeah, those last two. <laughs> That's shades of Dan Henderson, UFC 100. Incredible finish. <laughs> I mean, and my there's word. the reaction from the corner. I missed that, Henderson.